Hi, this is Alex from Groovy Entertainment. Today we got another record to play for you. Today record Robin Hood for 1963. So let's get started. Come, my merry men. 
we'll have a jolly feast to welcome Little John, the newest member of our gallant band. <laughs> In the town of Nottingham, the sheriff swore that he would capture Robin Hood and all of his outlaws. They claim to rob the rich and give to the poor, but a robbery is a robbery nevertheless, and must be punished. I'll not rest easy until I see Robin Hood hung from the highest tree. As the sheriff tried to think of a plan with which to capture Robin Hood and the other outlaws, he realized that he would need a lot of help. I'd be able to bring Robin Hood to justice if I had some of the king's soldiers to do my bidding. Huh? But that's it. Why didn't I think of it sooner? I'll go to London and ask the king himself for some of his men. The next day, deep within Sherwood Forest, Robin Hood and his band had an important visitor. See who comes here, my merry men. A youth all dressed in purple velvet. Welcome, young man. Judging by your rich clothes, I would guess that you carry a purse heavy with gold. Before you leave, I shall demand half of it. Oh, then I must disappoint you, Robin Hood, for I carry no gold. Only a message from Her Majesty Queen Eleanor. The Queen? The Queen? Queen? I don't know. Oh, surely you're jesting. Who are you? Richard Parkington is my name, and this is no jest as I can prove to you. Often Her Majesty has spoken of you and of the good deeds you've done for the poor folks of this countryside. The queen knows of this? Aye, uh, she knows, and she wants to see your face. Therefore, she promises that if you come to London, she will do all she can to protect you from harm and will send you back here again safely. She will do me the honor of seeing me. There is more. Our good king is holding a shooting match in four days to discover which among his many subjects is the most skillful with bow and arrow. All the famous archers of Merry England will be there, unbeknownst to the king. Our Queen Eleanor would like you and your best men to join the contest. Her Majesty feels certain that you will win. How do I know this isn't some trick of the sheriffs to capture me? Why, this gold ring, Robin. It belongs to the Queen herself, and she wants you to wear it as a token of her good faith. Ah, oh, it is a beautiful ring, and one which could come only from a queen. Now I can believe you. I must drive back to London. Shall I tell the Queen that you will take part in this contest? Aye. I'll be there, and I'll try not to disappoint her. I shall try to win. A gay sight were famous Finsbury fields on that bright morning of the great shooting match. Across the meadows were tents for each company of archers, and the men would come to compete with the most famous in all of England. Men such as stout young Clifton of Buckinghamshire, and Egbert of Kent, and William of Southampton. The king, seated on a platform from which he could view the entire field, raised his hand. Let the contest begin. As Robin Hood and Little John, hidden within the vast crowd, watched, the first company of archers, led by Sir Gilbert of the White Hand, took their places in front of the targets, and then, drawing their bows, let fly a flock of arrows. Do you see, Little John? All of them are almost perfect shots. A second company of archers lined up in front of the targets and... Again, the targets were well hit. Company after company of archers competed in the great contest. Finally, it was Robin Hood's turn. And he and Little John and several others of the outlaw band took their places in front of the targets. Keep a sharp eye, men, and a steady hand. Ready? Ready? Then shoot. A couple of bull's eyes. All of us have hit near center. Now we have a chance to win top prize, the ten golden arrows. You mean we've not yet won the contest, Robin? Sir Gilbert and his men have the highest score till now. But we have tied it. There will be one more round. Meanwhile, as the targets were prepared for the final round of the contest, the king turned to speak to the sheriff of Nottingham. Who are those marksmen dressed in green? They are outlaws, your highness. Outlaws? Their leader is called Robin Hood. Aha. Uh -huh. 
I have heard of him. He's the very reason I come to see you, Your Highness. I need the help of your soldiers in capturing him. After this contest is over, I'll see that you get them. But, sire. Yes, Eleanor. I gave my word to Robin Hood that if he joined the contest, he could travel here from Sherwood Forest and back again in safety. I made no such pledge to him. Nevertheless, sire. Sheriff, when the contest is over, I expect you to do your duty and capture Robin Hood. Right. Down on the tournament field, Sir Gilbert and his archers faced the targets and drew back their bows. Robin Hood's word is good. Uh, you'd better leave. 
but there will come a day when I'll have him at the point of this sword. For now, leave. Let's go on. Take the sword away. As you wish. But I'll keep it until I set you free. What? Not letting me go now? <laughs> Not yet, Sheriff. I'll need you in case those soldiers decide to return before I'm safely within Sherwood Forest. Come on. Let's walk. Walk? Uh, where? To Sherwood. Uh, no. No, please. Uh, don't, don't take me there. But I intend to. Move. I... You give me no choice. None at all. <laughs> Be hearty, my merry men. For it's not every day that we have as honored guest the sheriff of Nottingham. I, uh, I never expected mercy like this from you, Robin Hood. <laughs> but why not? If I hadn't been able to hold you hostage, my men and I would now be captured. We must show you our gratitude. But only today, Sheriff. Tomorrow you'll be set free. And if you ever venture here to Sherwood alone or with an army, we'll welcome you with arrows and swords. I don't doubt it. But beware, all of you. Today, Robin Hood is victorious, but as long as I'm Sheriff of Nottingham, I'll try to do my duty to bring every one of you to the justice of a hangman's noose. <laughs> <laughs> a toast. A toast to the Sheriff, men. May he always try to do his duty. And may he always fail. <laughs> <laughs> to the Sheriff of Nottingham. To the Sheriff! And so Robin Hood and his merry band of outlaws were once again safely within the green glades of Sherwood Forest where many other exciting adventures befell them. And those adventures, well, uh, there for another day. So that was Robin Hood from 1963. So if you like, subscribe, share, and comment, and have a groovy day. We'll have another video coming out real soon.